council members, these people are serious. What they're reading, what they're looking at is serious. They're not here because they're playing games. And I'm going to tell you as a fellow council member, I'm pleading with you, vote us out of equals. Like the one gentleman said, I spent, I, I've been not paying attention to this and some people have brought it to my attention and I was pushing it away. Just last night, in preparation for this meeting, similar to what this gentleman back here said from San Jose, spending 30 minutes on the internet is all it took. And I, I would ask you to think to yourselves, think to yourselves, gentlemen, why would our staff tell us in answering questions, here's the question, I have recently become aware that San Carlos has membership in ICLE. ICLE arose from a United Nations sponsored program titled Agenda 21. Answer, incorrect. ICLE was founded in 1990. You heard the answers. You heard other people point it out. That's a bald-faced lie in our staff report. It says here there's no connection of ICLE to Agenda 21 or the UN. That's a bald-faced lie. All you have to do is do a little research on the internet and you can find the answer. They are connected. Ask yourself. I went to the, I, I didn't see any of you there. I went to the one Bay Area planning meeting that was hit at Hillary Aviation Museum in San Carlos. Well, there's not only one Bay Area, there's one Valley, one Vision. That's uh, the name of a program for Santa Clarita Valley in California, uh, for a place in Montana, and another place in uh, New Mexico. Another one, nine counties, one Vision in Tennessee. Another one, one region, one Vision, New York in Indiana. Our Florida, our vision. One Bay Area, that's us. Six towns, one vision. Lycoming like like County. Five counties, one vision. Minnesota. Are you seeing anything here? A thread? Where did uh, the term sustainability come from? Well, the term sustainability came from the Secretary General of the United Nations in 1983, asked Prime Minister of Norway, and I can't pronounce her name, but it's uh, something like Brunlet, to create an organization to focus on environmental and developmental problems and social uh, and solutions after an affirmation by the General Assembly resolution in the fall of 1984. Out of that report, the uh, Brunlet Commission, they came up with the term sustainable development. That's where it got coined in their paper that came out of that commission. That was the United Nations. Created the term, coined the term, defined the term. Mr. Mayor, is sustainable development, that term, not in our general plan? It is. That was my point to Mr. Mora, that when I made the point that do you not think SB 375 and other laws that he said came down from the state and we have no control over and, and so forth, do you not think those are coming from NGOs and their work, the work of the United Nations and ICLE and organizations like The United Nations doesn't believe in property rights for individuals. The United Nations believes that, here it is, land cannot be treated as an ordinary asset controlled by individuals and subject to the pressures and inefficiencies of the market. Private land ownership is also a principal instrument of accumulation and concentration of wealth and therefore contributes to social injustice. If unchecked, it may become a major obstacle in the planning and implementation of development schemes. The provision of decent dwellings and healthy conditions for the people can only be achieved if land is used in the interest of society as a whole. Public control of land is therefore indispensable. This comes from uh, the land policy of the United Nations officially articulated at the United Nations Conference on Human Settlements held in Vancouver, excuse me, May 31st through June 11, 1976. That's why they don't want you to know the connection of ICLE to Agenda 21, the United Nations. I suggest we remove ourselves from this organization. As people have said, we have made an oath when we took office to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. And this stuff flies right in the face of both constitutions.